I think that they are realizing that a day may be coming very soon where Roe v. Wade is threatened and it will be put back to the states. Right. The, the abortion issue will be thrown back to the states. And so the response to that is, okay, we see That's this we awesome. see this like impending doom coming our way. Roe v. Wade is now no longer going to be the law of the land. So now we really need to get these laws in place uh, at the state level. And I, but I think what's happened is they have swung that pendulum so far to the left that they have lost support from their own constituents and from their own supporters. I mean, there's a lot of people. Democrats and pro-choicers who are looking at what's happening and saying, whoa, that's that's too far. I don't want to support that. So I, I think it's actually, in a way, I mean, I feel like God's been able to use something, take something good from it. Very interesting. So, you know, I, often I ask people about what inspired them, but I, I've seen the unplanned film and I know that you endorsed it. So I kind of have an idea yeah. and a lot as, as actually do a lot of people. It was incredible how widely it opened given the controversial nature of the topic sure. and so forth. But I, 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 there's one thing that I am curious about because it's I, it's not really shown in the film. You know, you, you go to court, it's a quick case, you know, you win. And then, but there's something that takes you from you know, basically from there to going out and being on the road for 10 years and help talking to people. And what, so what, what is it that, that happened in that time? Or, or was it just like, it's obvious, let's, we, I got to run. It happened very quickly. And it was honestly um, because of Planned Parenthood and their media team. Um, they sent a press release to the AP talking about the court case. Uh, when that hit the AP, it was on Drudge, and I started uh, getting phone calls from Fox News and uh, CNN and these other media outlets asking if I would talk about why I left the clinic and why Planned Parenthood felt it was necessary to shut me up, to take me to court. What was it that they didn't want people to know? And... Um, it, and, and so we had made the decision, my attorney had said, look, we probably shouldn't do any media until after the court case, let's figure out what's gonna happen, how this is gonna play out. And so I went to court and then two days later was my first appearance on Fox News um, talking about what had happened. So it was truly because of Planned Parenthood and their media misstep that caused me to have the platform that I do today.